a special unit whose purpose is to maintain order at this school. An independent organization beyond school board and faculty jurisdiction. They're known as the school police. to do about it what kind of attitude is that okay fine then what about them what do you mean them Out of the curve of everyone else. Akune Koki-san! Even if you happen to be a diehard Elvis Presley fan, that does not excuse your brazen attire! If you put it like that, I admit I have no excuse to hold out for your acceptance. Finally, Kikajima Mogana-san! Why are you acting as though you aren't part of this conversation? Hmm? Because I'm not Miss Nosy Pants. My skirt is even the standard length. You can't fool me with tricks like that, Miss Wearing that. That is <laughs> <just caught mine. laughs> That was quite impressive. But sorry, I was only testing you. And, and why, why is she patronizing Onagase? When will the rest of the world catch up? My beauty. Uh, I feel so weak and cold. Excuse me. Could I possibly wear just my swimsuit? Of course you can! <laughs> Have you completed your purge? Hmm? How about you and I just call it a day, Onagasi, the same year? You and I know that none of it mattered, really. Oh, it's Tuko Prez! I apologize for interrupting your meeting. shameful than the way you're dressed, huh? More shameful? 
You could not be more wrong about me, my dear. I, Kurakami Madaka, am not ashamed of my beautiful body. It's your clothing, not your body, that should cause you shame. Exposing that much cleavage is immodest! I wouldn't say this exposes cleavage. It's only that I've covered everything but my cleavage. Do you normally go naked? You should consider the influence you wield when if other students were to follow your example. It'd be trashy! Oh, really? Well, then I say let them. In fact, I'm considering making this the standard uniform for all girls in the school. You have some very nasty ideas! Seems even Madaka-chan is having trouble with that one. <laughs> Always an insect, Tidiyoshi-kun. Madaka-san is preparing to use one of her famous phrases. A phrase so potent that not a single one of us will have no choice but to groan at its lameness. Regardless, please change your outfit, Kurokami-san. Or have you some valid reason to make me change my mind? Here it huh? comes. I do not wish to do it! Uh. <laughs> Madaka-san, that wasn't very wise. Opposing the disciplinary committee is a bad idea. There's no way it'll have a happy ending. Onigasi-san has a reputation for being quite difficult. Onigasi, the handcuffed knuckle. She is their new mediator for the fiscal year, reportedly recruited by the committee chairman himself. To maintain order, she is willing to use violence. And since she came on board, the number of school violations has decreased dramatically. I dislike the idea of using violence, but her motives are not mistaken. However, I do not believe I'm doing anything wrong. People do not exist to follow rules. Rules exist to protect the people. Oh, I am so pissed! 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 I am so pissed off! Huh? Oh. I am pissed! What is she doing? Uh. Shut up, she'll come after you. Whoa! Whoa! Why is that girl the Stuco Prez? I am seriously pissed. We work ourselves to the bone maintaining order and all we get is hate while that joke of a student council enjoys a 98% approval rating. Hey, Onagasa. <laughs> Do you need something, Hideyoshi Zenkichi-kun? I must go and report that girl's behavior to the chairman of the school board and hope he rectifies it. Yeah, about that. Maybe you could just forget about that. And then I'll promise I'll make Madaka-chan change your outfit. Let's not make things any worse. Do you honestly think that you can change her? No, I don't. Uh, couldn't you just let it go? Madaka-chan is a bit of an exhibitionist. <laughs> Want me to change? I'll go make it! But ignoring her fashion choices, you have to admit that she's accomplished a great deal in this school. Then I should overlook unlawful behavior because of the good she's done? No, see, that's not what I meant at all. I shall not accept that excuse. Following that logic, the elite would be allowed to break every rule. And that chaos Ugh. cannot be allowed to begin. All are equal before the law and legal system. That is why the disciplinary committee must operate independently without any oversight. We must to no one! I see. Well, that's nice. Ah, uh, sorry, Madaka-chan. I can't stop I'll her. I'll grant you. It is true that she has done a fine job as student council president. But I believe I know the real reason. The suggestion box seems to be performing its function, and that is... Oh, the suggestion box! I can use the suggestion box! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that this won't end well for her at all. For what purpose did you summon me here, Onagase, the same year? Just so we're clear, I have no intention of changing my uniform. Uh, uh, oh! Actually, a submission to the suggestion box accidentally made it over to the disciplinary committee, and I read it without even thinking about it. <laughs> it appears that an anonymous person has lost an important object in this pool for an unknown reason. This petitioner wishes you to find the object. If it isn't dealt with quickly, the water will melt the object. So, as someone who also loves this school, I felt impelled by my sense of honor to set aside our dispute and convey this message to you. Oh, I wish I knew how to swim! That girl is terrible at lying. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'll dub this Operation North Wind and the Sun. As she prepares to search the muddy pool, she'll realize that she needs to change into her swimsuit. And while she searches for an object that doesn't exist, I'll switch her uniform with a standard one. This 
almost like I'm tricking her into changing. Okay, I'm actually just tricking her. But I don't want to have to admit to the chairman that I used such methods. <laughs> now what will you do, Kurokami-san? Now what will you do, Kurokami-san? Hmm, I don't really understand. But I get it. Here we go. The student council will now act based Whoa. on the request submitted. <laughs> no! What are you doing? Huh? I'm looking for the missing object. Not that! Your clothes! If you wear your clothes in that dirty water, they'll get ruined! What's wrong with that? I really haven't the time to listen to you babble incessantly like you do. You say ruined, but at the end of the day, they're simply clothes. Well, while she may be an exhibitionist who breaks school rules, that's simply how Madaka-chan is. You can try to change her outside appearance, but she'll be the same person on the inside. Oh, you never mentioned what the missing object is, Onagasi, the same year. <laughs> what could this important object be? Oh. We're looking for my conscience, but you've already helped me find it. Are you serious? It's fortunate you found it before the water melted it. What? You have seven spare uniforms? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. So you don't have any spare uniforms? Then what will you do tomorrow? What will you wear? W what should I do? Well, fear not, Onagasi the same year. Uh, what? <laughs> Hitoshi! What kind of sin would someone have to commit to earn this punishment? I don't want to be nosy, but I'd love to find out. Well, you'll love this. She tried to trick Madaka-chan into changing her uniform. Try not to stare. Uh... I'm still pissed! I will crush Kurokami Madaka! hole in your stomach <laughs> please i may have a black soul but that doesn't mean i'm a black hole i don't swallow everything that comes my way i need not mention eating while walking but consumption of food on school grounds is also an offense ah. you're from the, the exhibitionist, exhibitionist committee i'm onagase from the disciplinary committee shiran wehan sode-san i've heard stories about you oh, many stories actually and i finally caught you red hand oh. You have no right to accuse me. You have no proof anymore. I mean, whatsoever. The proof is all over your face! Your rebellious nature must be punished. If you're hungry, I have a knuckle sandwich served up right here, just like you like it! Wait! Onagase! <laughs> Thanks, Hideyoshi! Oh. I don't care if you call yourself the school police or the handcuffed knuckle or whatever. I would try not to stand out too much if I were you, Onagasi. It's not very smart. Plenty of people want to make you pay for your strict standards. You shouldn't be wasting time on someone like me. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, don't bother, Onagasi. As long as you feed her, she's harmless. In some ways, she's even more uncontrollable than Madaka-chan, so... Don't worry about well, it. Well, I simply cannot accept that. Discom must uphold the... Huh? What? Uh... Oh. Uh. Man, they're completely locked. I'm guessing this wasn't part of Sharanwi's plan. No, maybe it was. Anyway, these handcuffs won't budge even a little. These handcuffs are a specially ordered type favored by the military. They really shouldn't think of them as mere toys. Why are you bragging? Forget it. I didn't do anything wrong, so hurry up and take this thing off my hand. <laughs> Come on. As a member of DISCOM, I am bound by an unbreakable oath. In other words, I may end up with no path of retreat, so to speak. So by removing I didn't ask all for restraints a speech, beforehand, just the key. I... Let us discuss this idea of a key for a moment. What percent of objects that we believe are keys actually you end don't up have being the key, keys? Do you? I... Ugh, yes, that's right. I don't carry around that 
piece of junk. Are you happy? Honestly, this mere trifle is no call for panic. I guess now we know that the student council has its limits. Well, if you don't mind, then I'm okay with it. But if you're looking forward to bathing, sleeping, and going to the bathroom together, well, then this is your little pervy paradise, you little freak. This is too much! Oh, my gosh, I'm gonna go cry! Oh, very well. In that case, come with me to Discom headquarters. I guess we have no other choice. Huh? But I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just asking you to accompany me there. They should have a key there to unlock this. Uh, okay, I see the Discom office. Ugh. Well, if it's our only choice, then take me with you. Man, everyone's watching. I can feel their gazes stabbing at me. I know, Sharon, we mentioned something earlier, but are you being targeted? Hideyoshi-kun, have you heard of the Metalwood duo? Is that the scary teacher from the kabocha wine? That's Metal Steel. These are guys who use a wood bat and a metal bat. I took them in once, but they didn't learn their lesson. Rather, they started to hate me even more. But don't worry yourself. If they were to show up now, they wouldn't do anything to harm you. I heard they went to anger management classes. Well, that's perfect. I wouldn't want too many people seeing this pathetic sight. Huh? G huh? That, that is, is the last person, person on the planet, planet we, we wanted, wanted to, to see! see. Uh, huh? huh? I was concerned about the traditional discord between Stuko and the Discom. I was racking my brain trying to think of a way to put an end to that legacy. However, it seems that you were a step ahead of me. You two are quite impressive to outwit me like You're totally that. overestimating us! You're totally off base! In that case, you ought to have said something you first. You never asked. Oh, that's right. Don't you know how to pick locks and crack safes, Madaka-chan? Because we could really use your help. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this in front of the school police, but this is an emergency. All righty. Hand me another pair of handcuffs, please. Observe. See how the handcuffs are positioned? Huh? This means that... Well. This means that... This means that... <laughs> This means that this is an excellent pair of handcuffs. This just, just keeps, keeps getting, getting worse and worse. This is really bad. Hideyoshi-kun is one thing, but if I take Kurokami-san to the Discom office... What's going on? What did I do to deserve being dragged around by these two? Hey, you two. Hold huh? on for just a moment. She seems to be having trouble. Huh? Let's help her. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Thank you very much. Okay, let's head to the office before anything else. Wait, Sen Kenshi. Someone is in trouble over there. Huh? Huh? Ah! 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 Easily distracted. Basically, Yo, she's friends, just a child. What you do now? What's going on over there? Thank you so much. Actually, so much for your help. Hey, now that I can sit on? back and watch, <laughs> she really is popular. <laughs> totally different from when it was just the two of us, huh? I can't what? recall people in this school calling out to me like that since I decided to join Discom. My friends all disappeared. Well, don't sweat it. The student council and the disciplinary committee have totally different responsibilities. No, that's not the case. I'm simply expressing my pity for the student council, since you must curry favor with the student body. Right. What's wrong, Madaka-chan? What do you see? Is it someone in trouble? I see someone making trouble. If you look closely, you can see them. Right over there. And over here. Come on out, I can see you. How'd you know we were here? You were right, Metal. She really is a freak. It's the Metal 
a duo! Anyway, guess the rumors were true. Onagasa-sama, the handcuff knuckle. And guess who isn't able to move or use her handcuff? <laughs> if we take out these three, our duo will be super famous, partner! That's right, brother! They're ganging up on us three against two! But we insist on fighting fairly! It's time for payback! Get behind me, you two! Right away! I don't understand. <laughs> Why in the world would we do something like staying behind you? Why? Because! Because meaning order is a dead job! <laughs> That's why I don't understand. How is something like this in Discom's job? They aren't disrupting uh. order. I heard metal shattering behind me, but I won't let it bother me one bit. Don't you need to take them in? Why would I? It's just as Kurokami-san said. They never disrupted the peace. What an odd way to play baseball. She doesn't even realize that she's been attacked. You know, I had heard the stories, but she really is incredible. Another team special inside team special. Class 13. Huh? Uh, Kurokami-san? Hmm? If you can shatter a metal bat, can't you break these handcuffs? Oh. You don't care if I break them, then? Oh. <laughs> That was Officer Onagase's approved report. Yabuko, what is your opinion of Kurakami Madaka? If you want my opinion, I'd say she is a saint among these fools, to put it kindly. <laughs> well, that sounds about right. But as far as Discom is concerned, saints and those of a saintly bent are the hardest to deal with. Everybody knows justice and charity don't exist. Why do people fight? What are people trying to protect? Even a rose has thorns and the school's flowers begin growing unchecked. Like roses covering Pandora's box. What is that pose? 